guys, there is here with a new tutorial and this one's going to be a beginner tutorial. So uh, we're going to be making this thing here today. So it's this guy in the suit uh, briefcase and he's uh, kind of walking on this road which uh, leads to some steps which leads to some portal. And uh, there's some spacey things going on in the background uh, behind the road, the road and stuff. So uh, let's see how we can do this. It's not hard and it's not going to take that long. So uh, let's hop into it. So I'm just going to uh, unhide my layers and stuff. And I'm going to just group them together. Yeah. And I'm going to hide this. You know, we're going to start from scratch. We're not going to bother with uh, anything else. So for the road, I kind of use the texture. You can use any textures. Uh, some of the stocks, well, 90% of the stocks that we're going to be using today are from Shutterstock. So I can't give you the stocks, guys. I'm sorry. Except one, the stairs. But the rest, like, it's really easy. Just Google stuff. Um... Sure stock. So I have this uh, texture here with uh, sort of like a brush metal, but you can also you can also <laughs> you can also use a uh, rock, you know, or an actual stock of an actual road. So um, in this one, in this image here, I used the brush metal one, you know, because I like the look. I don't know, it just feels right. And um, this one here, right? Uh, but in this one, I think I'm going to use the road. So I'm going to show you first how to use a normal texture to make the road. So it's really easy. Just uh, copy this, you know, uh, import this image into your thing here, into your image, right? Into your um, canvas. The image size is 1080 width and height uh, 1439, something weird like that, you know? Uh, because I cropped this from a uh, 1080p wallpaper size. So just import your image and you're going to have the square, right? And uh, you're just going to zoom out a bit. And with your stock here, you're gonna, it, it's transformable now, you know, I can make it uh, bigger, smaller, whatever. Right click and select perspective and grab one of the, um, one of the, the corners here while holding shift and click with your mouse and drag and as you can see it's uh, making like a plane um, and you're gonna grab this point here too and you're gonna sort of like point it like that and you're gonna drag this texture down make sure that your texture is pretty high resolution so uh, you're not gonna get any low quality stuff um, let me see here for this image, you know, uh, I, I can just grab this road with my polygon, meh, polygonal lasso tool and select it, you know, um, and just select this area, grab this image here. There we go. And I can just paste it inside and do the perspective thing. And as for the elements, you know, um, I could just remove them from the background. I should have used the road stock, you know, from the beginning. But uh, yeah, let's just let's just forget this one and just stick with the brush metal. Um, now we we're gonna add a background, you know, with the color correction and stuff. I'm gonna do that at the end. So I'm gonna add the background, which is this image here. So this is sort of like a galaxy nebula kind of good thing going on. If you go on DeviantArt, you can search for nebulas and find them really easily. So I'm gonna copy this and uh, paste it inside of Photoshop behind the road. So I'm gonna call this road, yeah, and just paste it behind the road. I'm gonna color code the road to gray and I'm gonna color code <laughs> the background image to blue since, uh, you know, color coding. And now uh, right click and convert to smart object. Convert your image to a smart object um, so you can edit it. Uh, it will be automatically a smart object if you drag it directly into, into your canvas like this. But uh, I just uh, copy pasted it from here. So same thing. So I'm just going to resize it right now. I'm going to hold shift and drag an, a corner, you know, and kind of resize it and put it how I want it, you know. Uh, there we go. So this guy is kind of going to, uh, to this portal thingy, 
uh, which we're going to get in a second. So the next step is to imp import our uh, steps. So these are the steps. They are from uh, Tina Louise UK dot deviantart.com and uh, this is an unrestricted stock so you can also use it for commercial purposes and stuff just uh, you know just giving credit because credit was to where it's due <laughs> so we're just gonna copy this this part here without the copyright and the original image and I'm going to go and paste it into Photoshop and right click and convert it to a smart object a smart object basically allows you to edit the image um, without losing quality, you know, uh, if you resize it. So now I'm I put it on top of the road, so I'm gonna call it stairs. Make sure to label your uh, stuff, and I'm gonna color code them to green because it has green stuff on it. Press Control T and uh, hold Shift and resize it. You know, so it sort of fits the width of uh, the road, but like in the background, not uh, not too much. You know, let me see here if we got a nice angle. There we go. I'm just gonna rotate it just a tiny little bit. No, should I do a perspective kind of thing? Hmm. Let me drag this down a bit, and this too. Okay, that seems right. Okay, so these are uh, the stairs. You know, uh, in the original image, I put it further in the background. Actually, I'm just going to make it smaller. Why the hell not? We make the rules. So it's going to be sort of like this, a bit bigger. And press enter. Now, obviously, there are a lot of stuff you can do, a lot of elements you can add to this image, right? Like, I, I just kept it really minimal. Um, you can also add like I don't know a castle or something. The guy, the guy going on a gravel road. You can add some buildings on the side, for example. Uh, some clouds, walking on the clouds to some uh, sort of city. I don't know. Just be creative. You know, I'm just showing you the basic steps. This is really easy, really simple to do. So we're gonna add some shadow uh, right over here. Just a tiny bit of shadow, you know, on the road. Um, I'm just gonna make another layer called road shadow. And I'm gonna just uh, simply select the area where I'm gonna when I want the shadow. I'm gonna select my polygonal lasso tool and sort of select uh, this shape here, you know, so it fits uh, the stairs here. See the shape? Let me just hide the rows. So you see it? This one here. And once you have the shape selected, you can go ahead and grab a soft brush. A decent sized soft brush but not too big hardness 0% with uh, black and just so, so slightly uh, put some color over here wait oh I gotta put the road shadow on top of the road so it's under the stairs but on top of the road and I'm just gonna add the shadow here really subtle don't don't want to go uh, really haywire with this one there we go that seems about right and just a bit more so I can lower the opacity. So once you got this, this is a bit too much. So just lower the opacity a bit, you know? There we go. So it, it kind of uh, blends in what, with the road. Um, now we're going to add the guy. The guy is uh, this stock image here. So uh, we're just going to select him. Yeah. We're going to grab our... Uh, just to do a quick rough selection. You can be more precise with the... the um, what you call it? The pen tool. Uh, quick selection tool. Uh, brush size five, seven for me. Maybe more. Let's let's go for. Let me see here. Okay, twenty-two pixels. You know, Google for like uh, people uh, stocks or something on Google or something on DeviantArt. DeviantArt has a lot of human stocks. You know. Okay, so I'm just clicking and selecting. Uh, I have the plus here selected. If you hold Alt, it will change into a minus and you can deselect stuff, as you can see. Uh, and don't mind if uh, there are areas that uh, the, the software didn't select because we're going to deselect them with the lasso tool. So I'm just going to like uh, move around here and see if we miss something. See like over here. Um, this is not a problem. The shoe, definitely the shoe. Let's grab that one. There we go, Photoshop doing its awesome work. This is why I love Photoshop. It's just so, it just works 
just nothing to say really it just works so now we got a selection around the guy but uh, let's remove a few things so I'm gonna grab my lasso tool and select uh, this option here which is I think subtract yeah subtract from selection uh, but you can also add to selection select this option here and if you hold alt it would change into a minus select this one here it's better uh, add it to selection now hold alt rotate the mouse wheel that's how I'm zooming in and out can you can you hear the mouse wheel <laughs> I'm holding alt and rotating if you want to move around the picture hold uh, the space bar and just uh, drag the image and now just uh, gently select this thing here you know I'm gonna just select the uh, sides that are going to be going out oh my god totally fail <laughs> hold alt so it uh, turns into minus and I'm gonna select this area again and it will remove it from the selection there we go it don't have to be super accurate and uh, we got some area here hold alt keep holding alt and uh, to mask out the background you know we just want a guy oh something is wrong here we're gonna need the plus this time so gonna select this area here gently so we can add it to our image I'm gonna move down and I'm going to uh, deselect this area here whoops I think I yep hold alt and drag this down just like this there we go let's see if we miss something okay the hand here uh, let me just uh, I, I think it works with a selection tool yeah there we go that works it's fine okay let me see the ears are good okay so once you're done making your selection of the guy uh, simply press on the, um, the add a mask thing here and uh, as you can see it masked the guy out and it, now we gotta check the guy for errors you know so I'm gonna make a new layer on top make uh, I put it on the bottom and this is gonna be our background to check hold uh, select your paint bucket tool by pressing G and you know it's there select a uh, dark gray you know not completely black and put it in the background so now we can check you know for uh, errors like see we can definitely see some uh, stuff going on here it's not good uh, we're not gonna lose the quality of the image you know so what you're gonna do now is click on the mask here double click it and select mask edge and uh, we are you're gonna use these settings I mean I'm gonna use these settings because it fits for uh, this piece and it makes it looks it just looks better you know see uh, it just looks good um, basically shift edge just shifts the edge you know uh, there we go see how that cleaned up really smooth you can add some feather if you want to not too much oh my god don't play with the feather too much just tiny bit 0.7 percent or something uh, small radius uh, this is for mostly for hair you know and edge detection and stuff I don't, I don't need it for this guy okay the output is uh, to new layer and make sure you turn on decontaminate colors and put it uh, pretty high up but just not too much um, and don't shift the edge to 100% unless it's really needed and I need it in this case for this guy you're probably not going to do it again if you want more precise selections use your um, pen tool okay I'm gonna press ok and as you can see we have the guy on a new layer here really clean see there's the mask the, the layer with the mask and the original and this is the guy here on another layer so I'm gonna uh, press Control A and Control C to select the guy and copy him. So I'm just gonna close this uh, thing here. I don't need him. You know, extra tabs just makes my Photoshop slower. So, and I'm gonna paste him inside on top of uh, the uh, stairs. So this is uh, the guy. I'm gonna right click and convert to a smart object so I can resize him non-destructively. Gonna press Control T on the keyboard. Yeah. And bring up the transform panel hold shift drag the corner and make him smaller you know uh, I don't know about this size I guess just a bit uh, lower here I think it was like this in the original image let me check really quick let me see here yeah it's pretty much just like that yep actually it's exactly like that like that okay so um, next step we're going to add the shadow from the guy you know I'm gonna call this guy there we go press enter make a copy of him 
Um, and this is the, gonna be the shadow guy shadow. The one, the, the guy under, you know, the copy that's under. You're gonna press Control T while having it selected. And uh, you're gonna drag this uh, top middle uh, thing. You're gonna drag it down and it's gonna create like a reflection. You know, oh, a good idea. Here's a, here's a creative idea. Use water, you know, here so you can add reflect reflections here. And you can add some ripple filter here, uh, which is gonna give it uh, a nice watery effect. So he's in space, walking on water, going through these stairs to a portal. See, yeah, we can be creative. We can be creative. So I'm just gonna move uh, this a bit up, just like that. There we go. So this is gonna be his shadow. You know, I stretched it a bit, so it's not exactly like the guy. So let me stretch it just a bit more, just like this, because it's a shadow. You know. Since the light's gonna be uh, in the middle here, it's, it's gonna be shining on the guy, so, yeah. Now, just uh, make a new layer on top of the guy's shadow, or, no, screw that, rasterize the layer. We can work destructively with the shadow. So, uh, yeah, just right-click, since it's a smart object, and then rasterize layer, so we can destructively edit it. Now you're gonna press this button here while having the shadow selected, the shadow layer, lock transparent pixels, grab your brush tool and uh, select pitch black and brush on top of uh, the shadow and as you can see we're just painting inside of the shadow. Now lower the opacity, yeah, go to uh, unlock the transparent pixels, go to filter, blur and then Gaussian blur. Just don't use too much, don't use too much, just a tiny bit like two, three, four, you know, pixels and then go to filter blur and then motion blur so we're gonna put this to 90 degrees and lower it jesus christ why is it that much distance uh in my case is 36 but just don't exaggerate like not this not this but just a tiny bit more you know so you can see the motion blur there we go this seems to work and now you're gonna have to move the shadow just a bit up so grab your move tool right and uh just move it a bit up so it's like right under his feet and now you're gonna just uh, add a mask to the shadow, select your brush tool, black, small size, and just erase what's on top of his shoes right here. So there you go, we have our shadow going on there. Um, we gotta apply some color correction, but let's just finish up uh, touching up our uh, our portal here. So to make a portal, yeah, a portal, it's really easy. Just uh, make a new layer on top of the stairs and uh, select your uh, elliptical marquee tool and drag it down like just like this and then uh, select your brush tool oh, no your paint bucket tool uh, select white or whatever color you want to make your portal I'm gonna select this bright blue and uh, fill it in now deselect you, you can press ctrl D to deselect or select deselect now grab your rectangular marquee tool and slice it in half select the half and press delete and you have our portal we're just gonna press ctrl T and just uh, play around with it you know make it smaller bigger just to fit the width of our stairs and uh, make it look like a portal you know just like this you can also go for a uh, round portal but I, I well it's this is sort of like a gate so I guess I guess you can also use a gate stock you know um, there we go so now we're gonna make a uh, gonna call this portal now what you're gonna do is make a copy of the portal Go to filter blur, filter, blur, and Gaussian Blur. And just add a tiny bit of Gaussian Blur, you know, just to make it more mystical and stuff. And now um, make a copy of the Gaussian Blur. Go to filter, blur, and then motion blur. And just go wild with this one, you know, just a, just a bit more. So it goes on the stairs too. So you can definitely see it, you know, see? There we go. And um, let me see. Can I put this Gaussian blend? Let me put it on. Let me change some blending modes here. I think you can put it on screen or color dodge. Huh? Color dodge. What about this one? This is the uh, the one color dodge. Hmm. Screen maybe. Sure. Let's put it on screen. Oh, overlay could also work. Oh, there we go. Overlay. Okay. So uh, the the one that we did with the motion blur put on overlay. So we kind of got some uh, blue stairs going on here. That looks good. That looks good. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um. In the background, uh, you can also add, uh, let, me call it, let me call this BG background, you know. You can also add this, uh, some some galaxy kind of stock, you know, just play around. It can be anything in the background, you know. It can be a, uh, 
some mountains it can be space like i'm doing now and uh yeah i'm just gonna use this stock you know uh from this shutter stock stock this is a galaxy uh not sure which one but whatever it's a galaxy and i'm gonna put this on multiply no on overlay and just lower the opacity and put it like uh just so that it shows just a little bit 17 percent right 17 percent so you can definitely see this there's a vortex going on to the gate uh this 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 annoys me here let me just move the portal a bit down so it covers that white spot that i don't like and just erase uh if there's something in a way you know like grab your eraser tool no add a mask let's work non-destructively add a mask and uh let's select black and a tiny brush so we can just uh show these uh bushes going over the portal here there we go that looks fantastic um hmm should I make the portal white or something? Not sure. Well, we'll see how it looks in the end. Let me, let me just uh, color uh, these, the road, you know, and uh, the stairs. So to color, um, you just uh, select the stairs and add this uh, color balance. Right click and add a clipping mask you know clip the the color balance to the stairs so you're only affecting the stairs and select tone midtones and turn down the cyan here turn down to, go to the cyan see how it turns the the, the the stairs a bit blue and just pump up the blue just a tiny bit here just a tiny bit probably some green inside so more of the cyan inside you know of the predominant color like the blue is definitely the color that's dominating here so just make sure to add more blue on the stairs a bit of blue here so if i go to the yellow you know it's gonna add more yellow obviously so more blue more blue uh plus 11 plus 11 should work here and the green you can also like green you know but uh just try not to exaggerate with your uh color correction and uh now i'm gonna do the same thing oh you, you see you hear the birds there's birds going on around me <laughs> So we're gonna copy the color balance, and we're gonna, yeah, copy it and put it down to the road. And you're gonna right-click and select Create Clipping Mask. And this we created the color balance, the same color correction we added to the road, but we can change things. Like if the road uh, definitely has another texture going on around here, uh, it's different than the stairs. So we can uh just add a bit more blue here a bit more sign a bit more green definitely definitely no, a bit less okay so now we gotta add some levels because the road is way too bright so uh make a new layer uh a new uh levels layer and clip it to the road again so we got a color balance layer here and a levels balance here a levels layer here uh levels adjustment layer so we're gonna turn down uh the darks here just make it darker a bit and the midtones also now this may differ it depends on whatever uh stock you're using for the road this is my brush metal uh thing going on here and what i do is just add a bit of output levels here because the blacks are not going to be completely black you know i don't want them to be completely black let me show you let me see see how this uh before it was really completely black pitch black if i add it you know it just makes it brighter so i'm just gonna add a tiny bit i don't like pitch black I, I just don't and uh just darken the road by dragging this uh output levels white one here there we go you can also add some highlights just like this so see we got some sort of light going on there and the darker uh, areas here in the bottom um let's add some levels to the uh stairs too so new levels adjustment layer right click create clipping mask and uh sort of play around you know make this darker definitely definitely add a bit of output levels make this darker here with the button midtones play around them there we go okay that that looks good but I feel like the shadow here is a bit too weird, so I'm going to select the uh, shadow of the road. And I'm going to select the bigger size. I'm going to lock the transparent pixels, so I'm going to change the color of it to the shadow that's over here. So I'm going to hold Alt, and while having the brush selected, the, the eyedropper tool uh, just appears. And I can sample the shadow color from over here. 
and I'm going to just put it on top here. There we go. And I'm going to just increase the opacity a bit. Let me see how it looks on full. Let me see if I can sample some green from around here. There we go. This looks like a good shadow. Just a bit darker. There we go. Okay, so this is sort of like dark blue. That looks good. That looks very good. So now we got to do the same thing with the guy. We're going to uh, actually play with the guy uh, a bit. Kinky. Um, make a color balance layer on top of him. Right click and create clipping mask. And play with this thing. You know, add the cyan and the blue and the green. Just a bit. And now we need the levels. So add the levels, create a clipping mask again, and do the same operation again. So just a tiny bit of darks here. Uh, mid tones make it darker. A bit of highlights here. Add some uh, of this output levels. And make the guy a bit darker with uh, by, by dragging this white part here. The guy has to be some sort of, sort of like the darkest side. Okay, so there we go. So these are the settings you know that I use for the guy. In case you guys want to copy them or something, but it's gonna be different for every piece. And uh, now what you're gonna do is you're going to make another layer on top of the guy. Right click and create clipping mask. And now you're going to select white and brush around the guy. So sort of give it a smaller size brush. Hardness zero percent. And I, I would usually use the tablet for this, but uh, you can also do it with the mouse. So I'm just going to brush um, on the guy, you know, like where light would hit. Like light's coming from the portal, you know, so it's kind of hitting on the guy's face and shoulders and whatever. I've got some on here, on the hand, on the briefcase. So I'm going down, down on the briefcase, just like this. There we go. On the shoes, definitely on the shoes and on a bit on the pants. Oops, not too much. That's way too much. You know, and here, inside here, you know. And here too, on the hands a bit. There we go. Definitely some going on around here. So this is just uh, to add a bit of highlights, you know. So there we go. Okay. There's a bit too much here, so I'm going to grab my eraser tool and just, uh, whoops, bigger size. And bigger size here, hardness zero. And just going to kind of remove where it's too much, you know, it's like here on the head. On the hand, definitely it's too much there. Okay, so see how I made uh, some sort of uh, soft kind of light on him. Now I'm going to lock transparent pixels and I'm going to just play around and see what color fits. Uh, I assume, you know, since the, the, the color here, the main color is blue, then I'm going to use blue. So let, let me check out while sampling this color here. Hold Alt, sample the color from your portal and try adding it. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. I like that. I'm going to keep that one. And uh, now you just play with the, the blending mode and see what's good. Uh, let me see here. Uh, lighten looks good. Color dodge overlay. What about overlay? I kind of like color dodge, so I'm just going to lower the opacity just a tiny bit, you know. There we go. So 84%, so it's not too much. Um, and now I'm going to... Hmm, what can we do now? I, I kind of want to play with uh, the portal here. Let me see uh, if I missed something, so... Just gonna check the other piece, you know. And okay, so we definitely got the vortex going on, the road, the guy with the briefcase, the lighting, the portal. That's good. We got the basics here going on. Okay, I'm going to show a bit more of the the, the vortex, you know, the the galaxy, so it shows more. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a new layer on top of everything. Whoops, let me just ungroup this gonna make uh, the vortex a bit more visible gonna make a layer on top gonna select color dodge and just lower the opacity quite a bit and select a big 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 soft brush well at, at, you know big enough for your canvas hardness zero soft brush regular soft brush with the blue and uh, let's uh, let's add some color let's send some blues around here let's have def definitely stuff going on here on the 
on the steps, you know? So it just wash that thing out. Lower the opacity. There we go. Just like that. Mm, I'm just undoing, you know, really quick in case I've messed up. I kind of like this. I like this on the portal, you know, it just, uh, just shines. And I'm going to select a way bigger one, like 1,000 something pixels. You know, this is good. And I'm going to put this on overlay. And let me see if I can uh, just, uh, okay, there we go. The road. It's a bit way, okay, that's a bit too much. Let me go on the road. I'm going to put the, 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 what I'm doing right now, I'm going to put it under on the road here there we go I'm gonna clip the mask you know so we're gonna call this road highlights road highlight uh, highlight sure there we go and just uh, click once here which are uh, blue you know this is the color of the portal and it's on overlay, the layers on overlay 100%. So lower the uh, opacity is a bit too much, you know. You don't want to exaggerate. So we got the guy over here. And now we're going to do the last step, which uh, is going to be make a new layer on top of everything. And then go to image, apply image. Okay, so this is the, the, the entire image is on one layer. And now you can add filters, you know, you can play around uh, with the default filters, but there's one that you should have in Photoshop. I think every version have it, has it, as far as I know. It's uh, the camera raw filter. This is for photography, you know. Uh, you, people usually use this for photography, but uh, we're going to use it to edit and color correct and sort of tune our image. Um, so I'm going to play around with the temperature, going to lower it a bit, and uh, just add a bit of green inside. The exposure I'm just gonna lower it a bit more contrast for the blacks the highlights I'm gonna sort of tone them down a bit shadows let me see here just pump the shadows a bit up the whites not too much because it's gonna just like make them too bright wow there we go so I kind of like the portal over there there we go the blacks pump up the blacks a bit and you're gonna want to add quite a bit of clarity here there we go so really makes the detail stand out. Uh, let me see here, vibrance, maybe just a little bit. Just, uh, just don't play that with it too much with it. You know, a bit of sharpening. Obviously, sharpening is really important. Makes it nice and crisp. And the effects, you can add some grain. Some grain is really nice. Just a tiny bit, not too much. Twelve should do. And some post crop vignetting. I, you know, this is more for pictures and stuff. You can <laughs> add white vignette or black vignette. So I'm just going to add, uh, the, oh, this looks nice, with just the guy, you know, this looks cool. Huh. I might just leave it like this. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, this, this is good. This is, the vignette is good. I like this. It looks very minimal. I like this. Okay, so this is was before, see? And this is with, uh camera raw so you can also replicate these effects really easily so in camera raw, there was exposure right so click here and add an exposure and lower the exposure and there's a contrast bright brightness and contrast and increase the contrast so see this is exact same things but it would just take so long you know when you have all the two tools at your disposal in camera raw okay so uh this is it this is the image at the end <laughs> i think it came out really nice uh it's really quick it's nothing super big so i hope you enjoyed it oh, <laughs> totally messed that up i hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh like subscribe favorite share and check out the links in the description you will have the stairs the stairs are there in the description um make sure to check that out um, follow me on Twitch. There's also links to Twitch in the description. And check out onecanvas.net. It's the official community that I made for uh, everyone. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And see you in the next tutorial. Peace.